Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about whole food versus synthetic vitamins, and specifically vitamin B2. So check your vitamin labels at home, and on that list, long list of vitamins, if it is multivitamin, or maybe this is your B complex vitamin, or maybe you're taking vitamin B2 on its own, I want you to look. So it'll say B2, and then in brackets, it will say either riboflavin or pantothenic acid and that's a great indication that this is a synthetically made vitamin so not as natural maybe as what you had thought usually this is derived from a combination of acetic acid and nitrogen and this is how that vitamin b2 is actually extracted sometimes it is made from genetically modified bacterial fermentation so it's something that you need to be aware of and some people do have some not so healthy reactions to taking synthetic vitamins often you can have sort of that aroma when you're opening up that bottle of the synthetic b2s and it's quite distinct and some people will have the very brightly colored urine it will be almost fluorescent when you're taking the synthetic vitamins so especially the b vitamins so it's something to look for if you've ever wondered what that is all about it's usually because of those synthetic b vitamins so one of the things that you can look for on the label is a whole food source of vitamin B2 and it's preferably getting it from the foods themselves is a great way to ensure that proper absorption of that vitamin B2. Some of the best non-vegetarian sources of this vitamin include beef liver so I know this isn't for everyone but certainly the carnivores out there and you're if you're into eating organ meats uh, the beef liver does have one of the highest sources of vitamin B2 in terms of food sources. Also yogurt will give you some of the natural vitamin B2 and eggs as well contain B2. Now some of the more vegetarian sources of vitamin B2 include spinach which is fantastic and very healthy as well as almonds have vitamin B2, spirulina and chlorella. So these are both blue green algaes. I love them because they are vegetarian sources of protein but also are loaded with all of those B vitamins which is fantastic with that high absorption rate and when it comes to taking vitamins it's all about that bioavailability and that's why from whole food sources you are going to get a greater absorption and utilization of those B vitamins when it's coming from those food sources so whether that's a whole food vitamin or from the foods themselves that's usually what you're looking for to ensure that you're going to get that energy and all of those benefits of the vitamin B2. So I hope that you learned something new so please put your questions and your comments in that section below and if you have an idea for a future episode or a show, I would love to hear from you as well. I have other videos about vitamins, so make sure that you check those out. And, you know, you can really go down your list of on your multivitamin and check out if each ingredient is synthetically made or if it is a whole food source of those vitamins. Important for you to know. Please be sure to share this video as well with your friends, your family, someone who you know maybe is that person who takes all of these vitamins and simply didn't know that they were synthetically made. I appreciate a big thumbs up as well, so please do like this video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell by turning on those post notifications so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.